Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Mary here, and today for math, we are going to learn Module 4, Lesson 9, and our objective for today is to model decompositions of 8 using a story situation, arrays, and number bonds. So decompositions is a big word, and I know we haven't really talked about that much, so I want to tell you a little bit more about that. So when you decompose something or have a decomposition of something, you're breaking something apart. So in this case, we are going to break our whole into our two parts. In my class, we sing a little song that I'd like to teach you. It goes like this. A part and a part make a whole. A part and a part make a whole. When I add a part to another part, my part and my part make a whole. So when you're creating number bonds, you're already decomposing. So you've been decomposing for a few lessons now, and you may not have even known it. So don't get scared by that big word. But it just means to break apart a whole number into two parts. So today, I would like you to get out a paper or a whiteboard with a pencil, markers, crayons, or even if you want to get out real crackers, you can do that too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take eight crackers. So let's get our pencils ready and draw circle crackers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. We're going to pretend that we're going to have some friends over and we're going to share our crackers between ourselves and the friend that comes over. So I want us to give the first friend that comes over three crackers. Let's count three. And remember, we always count from left to right, just like we read. So one, two, three. Now you can circle those three, or to make it easier, you can just draw a line right down the middle. I'll show you. Just like this. Okay, or if you have crackers in front of you, you can take three and put them to one side, and your other one's on the other side. Now, we have to make a number bond out of our picture. So we have some crackers for our friend, which we know are three, but we don't know how many we have for ourselves. Let's count that right now. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. We have five crackers for ourselves. Challenge. Who has more crackers right now? Does my friend or do I? Very good. I do because five is more than three. Great job. So we're going to create a number bond. So get your number bonds ready. It should look something like this right here. A circle and then one line with another circle, and then another line with our other circle for our other part. So first, I want to start with our whole. Let's count how many we have all together. Because remember, our whole is how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, I'm not going to show you what my number bond looks like. I'm going to challenge you. Can you write the number eight where the hole goes? All right, good job. Now let's count how many crackers we gave to our friend, because that's one of our parts. One, two, three. Very good. Can you write? A number three where one of our parts goes. 
Great job. And now let's count how many crackers we have that we kept for ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and write that five in our other part. So we had eight was our home, three was one part, and five was another part. Now, I'm going to show you what I draw, drew and wrote for my number bond. Let's see if we did the same thing. Is that what you had? If you did, good job. If you need a little practice, that's okay too. So we got our hole up here because the two circles, the two lines, are two parts that equal our hole. Whole. So we had eight, and then we said three was one part, one, two, three, and then five was another part, one, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now up here, there's something tricky, and we haven't learned much about it yet, and we're going to start to learn about them over the next few days. This right here is called a number sentence. Can you say number sentence? Good job. And our number sentence is just our numbers in a line with our addition and our equal symbol. So we have eight equals three plus five. So our whole equals our part plus our other part. I won't get into much of that right now. We'll go over it in a later lesson. Okay, now here is what I want you to do. I want you to practice on your own for this question. So, what we're gonna do is look at the picture. We are going to pretend that our friend, another friend came over and we gave all of our crackers away but we wanted to keep one for ourselves. So see how this one is over here? So we know one is a part. Let's count and figure out our other part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we know that our two parts are seven and one. Your challenge today is to write a number bond using the picture that is in front of you. You can submit it on Dojo in a drawing. You could write a number sentence if you wanted an extra challenge. Or you could send Ms. Shivani, Mr. T, or myself a Dojo message explaining how many crackers each person had and what their hole was. Now, I'm going to give you a few minutes to do this, and then I'm going to go to the next slide and show you what your answer should look like. Go ahead. So remember, you're creating a number bond that looks like the picture, that represents our picture, I should say. And this is what you're going to send in to Ms. Shivani, Mr. Thayer, or myself to show us you understand the lesson. Okay, I'm going to show what your number bond should look like in three. We're ready in two and one. Okay, here's what your number bond should look like. And I'll explain why quickly. So they put, what number is this? It's an eight, very good. They put that as our whole because they're saying 
everything, all these crackers, adds up to eight. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great counting. Now, what number is this? So they got our whole right, but what number is this? Seven. Very good. They did seven because we gave our friend seven crackers. But let's just make sure that matches the picture. Check our work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great counting again. Then we have one. And that's because we just kept one cracker. Great job. Keep up the hard work. We can't wait to see all your hard work in our Dojo Messenger. Have a great day.